I'm Creative Cramble, back with another one. Yeah, one of my subscribers asked me if I can do a step-by-step -step guide on how I get a nice finish on my concrete. His name's Ricky, and he's a really nice fella. So yeah, more than happy to do that for you, Ricky. What I've got there is a poly float. I've got two finishing trowels, an edging trowel, and a gauging trowel. And what you see there, that's a nice straight edge as well, that's my tamp. What I normally do is give it a light tamp first, then I'll use a poly float, and then I'll use the finishing trowels. I'll let this go off for quite, for quite a while, let it firm up a little bit, and I'll be able to start edging it out with the edging trowel there. And as this is a broom finish on my concrete, that's the broom I'm using. So all I've done is just lay some concrete out down that edge. I've done that edge as well, that's where I'm going to start. I've laid some concrete through there as well. First thing I like to do is give it a nice tamp, nice and light. What that's going to do is get the stones down. Making sure I'm nice and level running through there, from that point to that point. Just getting a bit of cream up there on the, on the surface there as well. I'm getting the stones down. And with my poly float, just give that a, a light rub up. Nice and gentle. Just filling any little holes. Then when we finish in trowel, I'll just give that a nice light trowel off. And what I'm doing there, I'm just raising that at a bit of an angle there. When you're doing a broom finish on your concrete, you need a bit of cream to work with. I always like to stand back as well and have a look. I'm not looking too bad there. That's pretty good. So I'll do the same process all the way through that middle there. I'll bring that in to the back there. Tamp, poly float, and then finish the surface. Yeah, last bit of tamping to do here. Last bit of floating off to do there as well. Last bit of finishing off to do. So the next step now is to let this bleed water evaporate. In the meantime, I can go around all the edges and get them formed up. Also as well, I like to keep a, a little bit of cream back there for when I do the edges, fill in any holes. And what I'll do as well with this gauge and trowel, I'm just going to move the concrete away from the edge and that'll give me a good chance when I come round with the edge and trowel. It just moves those stones away from the edge and gives me a bit of a chance. 
I'll work all the way around like that. Then I've got to let that bleed water evaporate. I'll probably skip that half hour, then I'll form up the edges. Yeah, carrying all the way around like that. And then I can get on those edges. Yeah, so it's been about an hour now since I finished off the concrete there. There's still a lot of bleed water on there, so nowhere near uh, ready for getting on the brush there. That needs to be completely evaporated. But what I am going to do is edge it all out now and get that formed up. work my way along like that nice and steady Yeah, just work all the way around the edges now. Get them formed up. Then it'll be a waiting game to, for that bleed water to evaporate. Yeah, so it's been about three and a half hours now since I laid this slab. The concrete's firmed up and the water has evaporated enough uh, for me to get that bring finish on there. It took a while to go off. Um, the temperatures are only about three degrees C uh, at the moment and has been all day. So I had to wait a little while for this slab to um, get to the point where I could uh, brush it off. But it's there now. I'll start from the back there and just do some nice straight brush strokes going through there. Then after that I'll edge it all out again with the Marshalltown edging trowel. That should be job done. Yeah, finally got that brush finished on there. The slab took a little while to go off today and the temperatures weren't that good to me. But we got there in the end. I finished all that off as well with a Marshalltown edge and trowel. That was the last job I did. All the lines are dead straight as well with that broom. So there you go, a step-by-step -step guide on uh, how I do the concreting on my pathways. Every job's different, but on this one, that's how I did it. It worked well for me. Looking pretty good. And there you go Ricky, hope you like that one mate. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one.